Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. Uh, in this video, we continue about example 8.4. Okay, uh, from the book Shikdi Mechanical Engineering Design. Okay. So, example 8.4 stated like this. Uh, figure 890 is a cross-section of grade 25 cast iron pressure vessel. Uh, a total of N box. Okay. Total number of volts are to be used to resist a separating force of 36 KIP. Determine the uh, KB, the stiffness of the bolt, stiffness of the member, and C is the uh, fraction of the external load. Okay, so uh, number question number B: Find the number of volts required for the load factor of two, where the bolts may be reused where, when the joints is taken apart. C is the uh, with the number of volts in, obtained in part B. Okay, determine the realized load factor for overload, the leading factor of safety, and the load factor for joint separation. Meaning that we want to find uh, the, the number of bolts. Meaning you want to use one bolt, two bolt, ten bolt, eleven bolt. This is what we want to calculate. And uh, what happen if overload? Overload is happen to that uh, pressure vessel. Uh, you know about pressure vessel? You know about pressure vessel? Pressure vessel, uh, for the simplest part of the pressure vessel, if the, uh, what? It's not an uh, analogy, uh, it's not an accurate analogy, but you can, uh, your thermos, thermos when you are boiling your water, okay? This is, resemble like a pressure vessel when you are heating your water boiling your water the air uh, the water inside the, the thermos uh, uh, the kettle the, the water inside the kettle is expanding it it be pressurized the the outer surface the of that kettle okay so uh, that resemble a analogy of a pressure vessel okay so we want to find how many bolts we want to put, okay? And uh, we want to find if uh, an overload happen, what? How many bolts we want to bolt put to become to make it not becoming overload, okay? Okay, so A, we want to determine what is the stiffness of the bolt, stiffness of the member, and C, external fraction of the uh, external load. So L is the grip, okay. Just I want to re, uh, remind you where is the grip, okay. Where is the grip? Where is the uh, length? Uh, the grip is the portion that is no thread, the slippery portion here. This is the grip, and this is the portion that have the thread, okay. So L is 1.5 inch, okay. Uh, this is a long bolt. I just want to uh, to show you where is the grip, okay. Remember in engineering. Uh, different from your everyday uh, understanding okay the grip in your motorcycle your handle motorcycle have grip there is a grip in a uh, screw no uh, screw chapter the grip is the portion where is no no thread and this is a slippery uh, portion this is called the grip in the screw okay so the grip is 2.2 to 9 inch it is a long bolt for uh, for pressure vessel Okay, from uh, from table A seventeen, the next question bolt is uh, two half inch. Equation eight one three. Uh, the thread length is length of thread is uh, one point five inch. That the length of unthreaded portion in grip is to zero point seven five inch. Okay, and the damage major uh, you can calculate in in the end you can get the both thickness as uh, KB equals to eighty uh, AD. ATE is the yarn modulus of the bolt. Uh, AD is the area diameter of the bolt. LT is the length of the thread. AT is the area of the thread. Okay, area of the thread. And then uh, LD is the diameter of the the thread, the thread uh, portion. And then you can get 5.21 mega pounds per inch. This is the stiffness of the bolt. Take the calculator, take the paper uh, beside you. You, you try it, try it again. Okay. 
I try to explain what is oh, what what you want to calculate now. Okay, then the uh, the solution A continues with we want to find KM stiffness of the member. Member, this is the bolt. This member is washer, and also the nut. Okay, the is the member. Okay, from the equation eight two two here this equation eight two two. Here is equation eight two two. So KM equals to zero point five seven seven four five ed and you can put all the value in that equation put back the value okay take your pen take your paper put back your value and then you can get this value km is 8.95 mega pounds per inch and using equation 823 uh, from the table you can get this value km equals to ed and everything because uh, because to determine uh, you remember in to determine the bulk Okay, you have many equation, uh, at least two, three equation. Okay, both giving the result. Uh, it is up to you what you want to choose, uh, the higher result or the lower result. To be safe, choose the low, uh, higher result. Okay, for critical application. Uh, this is table A24 for question A. Okay, it is given with the uh, in the table. Okay, you can get the number of the table and everything. Uh, I just take a part of it, not not everything. If you, uh, I suggest you get the textbook, okay, uh, if you have the textbook with you, purchase it. Uh, you will use it during your working time also, okay. Don't give to your junior, okay. Don't give your junior buy it. And you will use it for a long time. So question number B ask us. Uh, to find the number of volt required for the load factor of two, okay. Uh, how many number of volt you want? One, one. Uh, you want only one volt, only two volt, only five volt. This is what we want to calculate, okay. And the load factor of two. Remember what is the load factor? Uh, what you can estimate? Uh, if you want to play safe, you put the higher load factor, okay. If you uh, just uh, your load is not that too great, you put uh, one load factor of one. Okay, if you are uh, you are afraid that your uh, part and component may be damaged, okay, because of external load that you cannot predict. Like for example, your structure is built in the place where tornado always happen, where um, rain always happen okay when earthquake always happen then you should put the load factor higher load factor okay uh, so the structure will not uh, will not break away so this is the load factor that you should put the con some consideration uh, what the value for the load factor consider the place that you want to put whether it is uh, in always raining always earthquake always windy situation uh, this is what uh, then you put the load factor that you want okay so this is the stiffness constancy uh, from uh, table 89 the sp equal to 85 kpsi so this is the preload uh, for the end box it's written by this equation and then you uh, the result Okay, it's 5.52. You should put 6 times of both. 6 volts. Okay. Not 5, uh, but 6. Okay. So, we have determined from the previous question. Question B, we should use 6 volts. We should use 6 volts. Okay. For the 6 volts, um, the load factor realize essentially you put uh, this is load factor and l equals to 85 and everything you trace back this value how you get 85 uh, also 0 0.226 uh, minus 14.4 in this video you can scroll back uh, how many minutes how many seconds you can see what is the value uh, if you have the book better you can see you can trace back uh, how come this equation come to 14.4 uh, come this question get the value 0 0.368 and everything then you then you learn and then you get the uh, load factor of 2.18 and then the leading factor of safety is np equals to uh leading factor 1.16 and then for equation 8.3 the load factor guarding against joint separation is 3.8 
Okay, remember, remember, I just want to recap back what is the load factor and what is the load factor guarding joint against joint separation. This is a load factor. Okay. Let's say this is a table. Okay, this is a table. Okay, you put the load on onto the table, and then you go for semester break. Okay, and go for semester when you go for semester break, the load may may give some pressure to the bolt joint connection here. Okay, if the joint is not properly fitted. It may break away. Okay, it may break away. So another load factor is grading against joint separation is like this. Joint separation. Okay. Okay, when you do put both, okay. You want to avoid it to become separate. So for the case of pressure, pressure vessel. Okay. Okay. This is a pressure vessel. Usually in a cylindrical, uh, cylindrical, uh, upper geometry, uh, the body is cylindrical. Usually it's cylindrical. Okay. So if we usually you you are clamped with some bolt addition. The pressure vessel. Uh, always inside it is a chemical. Okay. Chemical when you expose to the sun, expose to the sun, maybe it become expand. Okay, when exposed to heat, it will expand. Okay, so this expansion is uh, this joining got it against okay, separation. Okay, so the load factor is three point eight given in this uh, this. Answer 3.8 will make the joint not break away. Okay, this is the purpose. Uh, if you put the value lower than that, you may choose the wrong size of a bulb. The structure of this preservation may uh, may break away. Okay, this is important uh, important scenario for this question. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, see you in the next video. We'll talk about gasket joints.